in this session we will discuss about a new experiment in optical fiber communication that is bending loss and attenuation loss in optical fiber communication first of all we will do bending loss experiment for that first of all we have to set the input voltage value first we will give an input and we will find the output in the CRO and then we will give the input and the optical fiber cable is bended and we will find the output wave in the CRO and next we will compare the both the input and output corresponding um, to the bending loss that is what we are going to do in this experiment so in the first step we have to set the input voltage level here the input is a sine wave and we will set the input voltage level now for that we are giving connections from the CRO to one point is connected to the ground section and the other point is connected to the sine wave of this tech book and the sine wave is connected next we, we want to set the voltage level in the CRO and the voltage level is adjusted by using this knob you can see so in the CRO you can see the sine wave and the sine wave voltage is set to a high value of 5 volt peak to peak by rotating that knob now it is set to 5 volt that you can set by using uh, that uh, knob okay next we will make the connection of finding the bending loss for that we are power switching off the power supply of tech book and we will make all the connections first we will connect the patch code from the sine wave to emitter circuit then from the output of the emitter circuit then from we will short circuit the a and b terminals of emitter circuit by using blue wire next you can connect the output output of this emitter circuit to the receiver section that is detector section before that you can see the see here emitter circuit converts this electrical energy to light energy you can see the light energy see once you are switching on this power supply you can see the input electrical energy that is uh, coming to this point and it is converted by uh, into light energy see you can see the light red light uh, shown here that means electrical energy from the function generator is converted into light output uh, by this emitter circuit so from the emitter circuit you are connecting the optical fiber cable of length 1 meter and it is connected to the receiver side that is in the detector circuit input so this optical fiber act as the channel so next you will take a connection from the detector output see before that you you have to short the detector uh, circuit a and b terminals and from the output of this detector circuit you are making connection to here you are making connection to the amplifier circuit that is from the output of the detector you are connecting the patch code to amplifier input and the, from the output of this amplifier you are taking the output in order to see the output you are con making connection to the CRO and the next you can this is all about the connection and the next here you are setting the analog link here giving we are giving sine wave as input and you are setting the analog link for uh, taking the um, output so you have to put this toggle switch in the analog section that means you have to move it upside so now you will set up an analog link next you can turn on the power supply for this tech book so first switch on that so that this light will be blown and then you can see the output see in the CRO sine wave comes so you have to measure its value before that for measuring the bending loss first of all this is a output corresponding without bending so you have to adjust the output to 5 volt by turning this knob see this is the knob which is used to vary the voltage level when you are varying that knob you can see the output is varied so you will set the output voltage to the which will be equal to the input voltage see you can see this is the 5 volt peak to peak value actually this was the input that we are giving from the function generator so this is the output corresponding to the 
input and here we are not bending uh, the fiber optic cable or channel is not bended. So this is the output. So you can draw the waveform corresponding to this output like this. See, this is the input waveform and actually this will be the output corresponding to the 1 meter cable without bending. Okay, that is 5 volt peak to peak value and the time period is 1 millisecond. Next, now you will bend the fiber optic channel cable. You can see how it is bending for bending. You can see that channel is bended around a circular portion. See how it is bending and after bending you can see the output. What will be the variation in the output? After bending you can connect the cable to the receiver side. Now when it is bending you can see there is a variation in the output see. Initially it was 5, 5 volt peak to peak but there is a small reduction in the output. You can see now it become here the voltage is for, for one division it is 1 volt and this is 1, 2, 3 that means 3 volt peak to peak voltage is there. Initially it was 5 volt peak to peak so now it will become 3 volt peak to peak that is due to the losses occurred due to this bending. So you can measure the voltage value initially the voltage value is denoted by V1 which is equal to 5 volt peak to peak and finally after bending you will get the voltage value peak to peak voltage value is 3 volt peak to peak. So that is all about this experiment of bending loss. Next we will set up an experiment for finding the attenuation loss or propagation loss for that the connection is same as we done for the previous experiment for bending loss. See first we will set up the analog link that is we will uh, give a connection from the sine wave of this function generator to emitter circuit, emitter circuit and B terminals are short circuited and from the output of this emitter circuit you will connect a cable of length 0.5 meter and that will be connected to the detector circuit. Here first we are taking the cable of 0.5 meter length that act as a channel and in the detector circuit A and B connect, connect terminals are shorted and output is taken from this detector circuit to this amplifier circuit and from the amplifier circuit you can see the output in the CRO and after setting the connections make sure that this toggle switch points to the analog section and you can power on this supply so you will see the output in the CRO like this. See here, here the output is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 volt peak to peak corresponding to 0.5 meter cable length. You are setting the voltage value by turning that knob. So you set the voltage value at 5 volt peak to peak. Here you can see the voltage division is 1 volt per division. So this is there is 5 divisions. So 5 volt peak to peak is the voltage value and time period is 1 millisecond. So single sine wave correspond to 1 millisecond. Next in order to see the propagation loss that means we are actually analyzing what will happen when the cable length is increased. So that is the attenuation loss that means we are replacing the cable of 0.5 meter with a cable of 1 meter length. So when we are putting the 1 meter length cable to this transmitter and receiver side what will happen? See here we are connecting 1 meter cable to this transmitter point to this receiver point and now you can see the output will look like this see actually it was 5 volt peak to peak voltage now it is reduced you can see now it is 1 2 3 3.8 now the peak volt value peak volt peak to peak voltage value is 3.8 volt peak to peak that means when we are increasing the cable length you can see that the output is reduced so corresponding to this propagation that means initially we set the input to 5 volt peak to peak that is corresponding to 0.5 meter cable length and the output we set to, point to 5 volt peak to peak value for the cable of length 0.5 meter and when the cable length is increased to 1 meter you can see the output is reduced to 3.8 volt peak to peak. So, this value is 1.9 and 1 point minus 1.9. So you can see 
there is a reduction in the amplitude of the received signal. Now you can make the calculation like this C. Actually for the propagation loss calculation there is an equation V1 by V2 equal to E raised to minus alpha into L1 plus L2. Here initially the cable length was 0.5 and then we change the cable length to 1 meter. So L1 equal to 0.5 meter, L2 equal to 1 meter. And here initially for the cable of length of 0.5 meter voltage value was 5 volt and for the cable of 1 meter voltage value was 3.8 peak to peak. So we can make a substitution in this equation. So we will get 5 by 3.8 equal to e raised to minus alpha into 1.5 this alpha is attenuation constant or it gives attenuation in decibel value. From this we can find this alpha value as alpha will be equal to 0.183 decibel. 0.183 so you can find the decibel value corresponding to this alpha and this is the way we can measure the propagation loss. That is all about this experiment. Thank you.